Um, hello everybody, this is Francisco Martinez for Immersive Application Deployment and this is my game so I'm going to start her up real quick. Uh, we were supposed to actually put in our elements that we explained for week one. So she can move to the end of level, she can fire this thing to kill the creature which was her point of defending herself and then go all the way to the end of the level to actually win. There you go. Um, I do have some issues. Uh, when I press try again, the level winds up in the corner for some reason. I don't know why it does that. Um, add on to that, uh, the hide feature, which I also added, added as one of the elements, doesn't seem to work properly. Um, so it shows up. You can actually hide under the bed or something like that. Oops. See, she's dead, and I gotta try it again, but it doesn't want to work. Um, so let's do it again real quick. Um, so, like I said, the hide feature. She reaches this. This is actually one of the hide, one of the places to hide, which is the locker. So she presses that, but she doesn't come back out. But she's still around. Like I'm holding down the right hand side of the screen. As you can see, it's moving. She's still around for some reason. Um, I don't know why she's doing that, but it's, it's just weird. Um, what I did was I added it as a hidden whenever she actually, whenever the player actually presses and holds the screen. And then as part of the touch edit function, I put in as a cancel hide, which is um, putting the hidden as false, making her appear. Um, but it doesn't seem to want to work like that, so I don't know what's going on. Um, she's not supposed to disappear disappear all the way like that. So um, I had to figure out what's going on with that, um, as well as why it continues staying in the left hand, the left, the lower left hand corner of the screen. Um, so as for next week, the leaderboards, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, Game Center. Uh, I do have a Apple developers account, so I intend on using that. Um, the game mode is going to be a survival mode. Um, the point of the game is for the player to reach the end of the level in the shortest amount of time. So the shortest amount of time is the best time. And um, how many leaderboards? It's just going to be one. Um, so that anytime somebody plays it and beats it at a certain time, the, his, his, friend, his or her friends can actually look at it and they can try and beat the time to the best of their ability. Um, what's good is that there's so many ways to actually um, play this game because like I said, as far as the hide feature, I'm still trying to work on that. But um, with everything else, um, the there's only one shot for the creature, against the creature, but if you miss, it's pretty much game over. Or if you get killed, it's pretty much game over. Um, so it, it's it's definitely a challenge. It's definitely a challenge for the player. So hopefully it'll work out the way I want it to. Um, see, like if I go like that, then I can keep going. But um, eventually the creature will show up. So uh, yeah, so it um, that's pretty much the way the game is supposed to be played. So hopefully I can get that ready. Um, for next week. Um, I hope you guys were able to get your projects done on time and um, have them working properly and everything's going good and you have a good day.